Since so bringing right now Hugh Odom, he's a former attorney for AT&T and founder of Here to further Vertical discuss the big concerns surrounding the Vertical Consultants, founder and president of Vertical Consultants. We continue to bring in guests to talk more about it. So let's bring in Hugh Odom, the president of Vertical Consultants, to talk a little bit more about this. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Josh. We appreciate it. So first off here, your thoughts upon finding out about this spy balloon. Well, my first thoughts is this isn't the only thing that's going on in those areas of the country, especially around military installations. This goes back about 12 years when there's concerns about cell towers being built in close proximity to these uh, military installations in the same area where this balloon is located. And the concern was Huawei, the biggest producer of 5G equipment, was starting to sell equipment on these cell towers. And the concern goes even further that that equipment was gathering information from those military bases in the same proximity as this balloon. So, yeah, the question really is what's going on here? And that's the question that we hope the Pentagon is going to help to answer coming up later on today. Uh, we do know that this was apparently spotted over several states, and we know Canada is tracking it as well. Do you think, and this is just based on your opinion, I know you don't know the answer per se, but do you think if a civilian had not spotted this thing that we ever would have found out about it? No, uh, because I think what we're looking at as a situation by which this is something that just popped out of the sky, but this goes on all the time. This is a total kind of infiltration of those areas, especially, as I mentioned before, around military uh, facilities where China understands that gathering information is the most valuable asset we have in today's world, and especially when it comes to intelligence and military uh, strategies. So we have to look at this as not a coincidence, but it's a, a system about which they continue to gather information from U.S. citizens and from our, our government as well. And we have heard from China saying that it was simply a civilian weather balloon that blew off course, but it sounds like the U.S. does not believe that is the case. I mean, is it possible, again, in your opinion, that that is what we're seeing here? Well, anything's possible. But I, again, based upon the history of the relationship between China and the U.S. and China basically infiltrating the U.S. to gather intelligence, I would think it would be very unlikely at best that a private weather balloon just somehow uh, moved across the world and got on top of some of the most strategic areas, especially with military installations and those general, uh, that pathway of the, the balloon is taking right now. What questions do you hope will be answered about all of this? Because just about everyone you talk to has a different question about what this is, uh, where it's going, what's going to be done. What question do you hope we will get answered? I think the bigger question that I would want to get answered is what are we doing as a administration, the Biden administration, and what are we doing as a, as a U.S. government in whole to make sure that we protect ourselves and our citizens with regards to these kind of strategic spying missions from China. As I mentioned before, this is not something that is unusual. This goes on every day, especially in the rural areas of the United States, where the Chinese government through Huawei has infiltrated the rural areas through transmissions of 5G equipment throughout those areas. And that is not just by happenstance. They're selling cheap equipment to rural areas so they can get inside our transmission for military bases, but more particularly our U.S. citizens. I mean, that would be some um, big security issues, I would imagine, there. So we talked about this a bit off the top, but we know that somebody was able to get video of this and posted it on Twitter, and it blew up. Everyone has been clicking on it, downloading it, trying to get permission to use it. And that is how this all did go about. But as you mentioned, this is not the only thing like this that does happen. Uh, so do you think people even realize that this does happen, not necessarily on a regular basis, but that it does happen? I don't believe they do. I don't believe that we understand that the, the ways that our, our country is being basically a Trojan horse inside of our country to gather information and spy on uh, ourselves as citizens and also as our government. We are, I mean, we are, uh, it is available, that information is available to our government, but they're really not acting upon it. They've done certain things to take certain actions, but they either come up short with regards to what they do. They don't fund the project correctly to try to get relief from those, those situations. As I mentioned, with regards to Huawei's infiltration of the rural America, 
they funded, they put in money to pull the equipment off these cell towers, but they came up $3 billion short. So it's only about 30% of the equipment has been pulled since 2019. It's basically, we're so worried about TikTok. We're so worried about kids being on TikTok. We need to understand that when you're connecting to that cell tower, your information is at risk, whether you be the military, the U.S. government, or someone just living in that area. I mean, good information there. Hugh Odom, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us here. Anything else that you do want to add about all of this before I let you go? Well, I think the one thing I'd add is put pressure on your local congressman, put pressure on your local senator to understand that we need to take the step up to be a better leader in the telecom industry and the and the 5G race that's going on. If not, we're going to lose this from a lot of different fronts, not economically, but intelligence and militarily as well. It's a situation by which most people don't understand because we're not releasing information to the people across the United States. All right, Hugh Odom, thank you so much for joining us here, as you always do, on Live Now from Fox. Great insight, and we definitely uh, thank you for doing that. Thank you. Get more money, get a better lease, get vertical. Contact us today.